Hey there, guys. Uh, so we got a new microphone, so hopefully the sound will not be breathy and insane, just nice, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I've tested it a few times, but <laughs> with my luck, I'd mess something up in between then and now. So we are renovating this uh, 2B Jasmine Suites. I think that, yeah, 2B. I, yeah, it's fine. And I honestly didn't really know what I wanted to do with this one. I wanted to do kind of like an open concept, but not really. And I at first wanted to do very industrial style. So you can see kind of that industrial feel coming through throughout the build. But I didn't really want that to be the focus, especially with the uh, apartment next door, very wood based and very like homey. So I was like, I'll do a wood base again, but I kind of made it feel a little more fresh, a little more modern, and I just, I enjoyed it. Um, I did have some troubles <laughs> trying to figure out how to decorate down the line. Um, it ended up, I put a gay couple in here. One of them is like very into astronomy and space and science and the other one is very outdoorsy and absolutely loves like things like frogs and a frog ends up in the house so you know <laughs> and I could not figure out what couch to put in here like I was trying to make the couch and the chairs match and it just no <laughs> I spent way too long trying to get it all to work and I absolutely loved this corner couch so that was kind of like my go to and then chairs it took forever to find something to match and I don't know I wish kind of we had the color changer like we did in um the sims 3 where you could go in and change like the pattern or the color but maybe not to like the same extent maybe just like different like Kind of like how we have the swatches, but like you can go more into detail with them and like mix and match because like there was so much that like it just, no, nope. <laughs> and like there are so many things that I wanted to do with this that I just did not have any way to do it because of what we had in like for, for furniture. And I know I could download some CC. But um, I know, like, I've mentioned in the past that I had downloaded it once before and had major issues, and I just have been kind of turned off to the idea since. And maybe someday in the future I will, because I do like, I absolutely love interior design and decorating, and I wish they had some more, like, decor in this game that we could play with, like blankets and pillows and all that fun stuff. But... Gotta live with what we have. I was trying to figure out the coffee table because, like, I wanted that one, but, like, I didn't at the same time. So I was like, uh, should I put a different one in? And, like, I didn't want the wood to be dark in the living study area. Uh, so, like, I was really having a struggle. I don't, what, why is this paused? I don't know. <laughs> Apparently I stopped there and forgot to take that part out. Sorry, guys. Um, I wanted, like, the very, like, light wood, but I didn't want it, like, the yellowy wood. I wanted it kind of like th what the couch was, but, like, not everything is that color. That's kind of why I wanted, like, different swatches or whatever, and, um, <laughs> anyway, I, I just didn't really know what to do. I wanted to have, like, the bar here, but at the same time, I was like, it doesn't really fit. Like, I can't really make it fit. I was like, oh, this could be kind of cute, but, like, it's just the coloring was so bad. Um, so I put the bar here instead. And I think I only put a couple bar stools in. So it's not like super um, close to the door, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long since I built this from when we're uh, doing this that, yeah. I <laughs> Sometimes I forget what I've done. Oh, yeah. that's Okay, that makes sense. And it's just like a small little cozy apartment and it is just two of the the guys living here. And it just was kind of nice to do something like kind of small for a change. I am looking forward to tiny living. Uh, like I may or may not have freaked out a little bit on the cover because, um, hi, like, yes, the cover 
Oh my god. The video reveal. Haha. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. It's fine. And so, I didn't really want to put cabinets there, but I felt like it was too much of empty space if I left it without cabinets. So that's why I kind of shorted the wall, brought down the wall, made a half wall. I don't know. And just put shelves in. And I could not figure out what to do here. Like, I was not expecting this much extra space in the kitchen, so I was like, what do I do? What do I put here? And I ended up putting a fireplace, which I think kind of looks nice. I don't really know, like, it doesn't quite fit, but, like, I didn't really know what else I was going to put there besides maybe a fish tank. And I didn't really want to put that there. Or maybe a couch would have been okay, too. But just for what I wanted for this build, the fireplace worked the best. And, yeah, so I went with the fireplace, and I think I put a rug down in front of it and a few things on the mantle, and the bedroom was also hard because I was like, I want this still same wood feel, but it just was not happening with what I had, and I just, <laughs> I was struggling quite a bit trying to make it work how I envisioned it. And I feel like that's why sometimes I struggle so much decorating in this game is because I get such like an image in my head that when I go to set things up it doesn't work because I am limited to what I have for like furniture and decorations so it just kind of falls short and then I'm unhappy with the build because it doesn't look like what I wanted it to <laughs> and this happens actually quite often um usually I end up liking the final product because you know it turns out pretty good but it just Something about it, I just always, it, it, it gets me at the end, um, or in the middle, or I don't know. Most of the time I like my builds at the end, uh, but yeah, picturing things that are out of what I can do with at least like what is in The Sims and not custom content, it, yeah, it's just a struggle sometimes. <laughs> I feel like I've repeated that a million times already, so I'm just gonna move on. And this is where I was kind of trying to, trying to figure out who I wanted these people to be and what I wanted for them. And I think I ended up putting the frog in. And I was like, perfect. We will do an outdoorsy guy for one of them. And it kind of fit in with the wood and everything and popped some little trinkets and decor in. And I was like, oh yeah, the frog, the frog's perfect. And then I found the, um, I think I will find them in a second or two. There's like these uh, <sighs> painting of stars and stuff. Like there's a shooting star. Yeah, right here. And I put a bunch of them in the room at first. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to put all of them in. And I was like, wait, no, no, no. Calm down. <laughs> you need to not put every single one into this build. So I removed some and I kept some. And I found some other like pieces that I really liked here and there throughout that I ended up putting in. You'll see some go up in the kitchen. Um, yeah, I was just having fun with, a little too much fun with the walls. And the bathroom here, I kind of left very simple because it was very small. You don't want to put a ton in a bathroom when it's small because it just kind of takes away from it. Um, like, even in real life, if you start putting a ton of stuff in your bathroom, then it's like, okay, I can't even pee in peace because there's a shelf falling on top of me. <laughs> uh, so I left it really simple, put some toilet paper, like a mirror and some towels in, and I actually was really happy with it. Um, the curtains, I wish we had more similar curtains, and I know that might be just me, but like, you get some that are one size, and then they're not another size. And it's like, um, hi, <laughs> I would like to uh, use this more. And so I was just getting frustrated with the curtains. I often don't put curtains in a build because I just get so frustrated with them that I just quit halfway through. Uh, but I did like these curtains, and I kind of just went with it. I was like, uh, these two are close enough in color. <laughs> so, and then I did some more in the kitchen, just kind of trying to make it look nice. I know I put some coat racks and stuff over by 
the door and I think I ended up just putting a photo there because I was like, I don't know what to put here and I don't know what I'm doing at this point. It was just, I, I hate making things look too cluttered, but I like making it look lived in and there's like a fine line for me and I often always cross it. And so like I was trying so hard not to overdo this build and make it look too cluttered. And so then I add the coat racks in. I think I add like a little stool and maybe, yeah, like there's a little chair that goes in. Because I love the idea of like a mudroom where you can just come in and sit down and take off your boots and hang up your coat. So I put that in here um, because I just, I love that concept. And I think I put it in a lot of my builds to have that little space to do so. And then the desk, I was trying to figure out what to do. I was like, oh, I'll put a little light here and kind of make it not as bright in the living room because you do get a lot of natural light in the day and have kind of just very limited at night. And I was like, I want a funky light, but not like too funky. So then I just ended up with the floor lamp. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know where I went from funky to just a floor lamp, but it was in just, this is when I found these posters that I was like, oh my god, I have to put like all of these in this house. And at first I put them over here and later on in the build they move over to the desk because they just didn't fit there. I put a, um, a picture of like cake or something there. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I don't remember what exactly it was that I ended up putting there. I like using the vases for like floor decor I wish we had more floor decor, like baskets full of blankets and that kind of stuff, because I feel like that would add something nice to it. Um, again, maybe that's stuff I can get with custom content that I'm just like, nah, not going to because I've had so many issues <laughs> in the past. Um, but yeah, I there's so much things I wish... I could do and that's why uh, at some point I'm going back to school for interior design because I absolutely love just helping people out. I have a friend like talking to me about like stuff and my parents help I, um, I picked out their floors and I helped pick out some stuff in my aunt's house like people come to me and talk to me about these things because I have this eye for it and I love doing it and I absolutely love when people come to me and are like, hey, can you help with this? Like, we have a design idea and we need some advice. And to give them advice on it is just amazing. I remember helping another friend with some paint um, before. Like, they were like, oh, we're going to paint this. And we were wondering if this color palette looks good. And for what they wanted, at one point they had, they wanted a darker shade and a lighter shade, but the shades were too close together. So I was like, oh, you need to like shift one or the other or both and then we shifted around some of the color swatches and it just looked so good like what they were going to do with it and I don't think they've actually done it yet or maybe to haven't gotten the chance to I don't know but it was it was just so fun being able to help them with that it's just it's something I love like absolutely love to do um so at this point, I think I'm just shifting some things over and kind of getting them where I want them. I just had so much trouble with this wall of what to put here because, like, it just, it was too bare, but, like, everything was too much for it. And so I just really did not know what to do for it. And I had to come back to it because I was, like, not really sure. So... Then I come back and I think I just, I don't, do I leave it? I might leave it blank now that I think of it. I might, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I had, I think I had in lighting and we're getting towards the end. So I don't, what else did I do? Oh yeah, in the bedroom. This was fun. I was trying to figure out lighting and trying to make it look good. And I found like these like boards or something. So I put them across this wall above the mirror and then put lights in them. So then it just looked like this like glowing black like box, I guess, across. 
and I absolutely love how it turned out and I was so happy and I'm gonna try and do more like that in future builds because it was just it was so unique and I was like wow like this is incredible like why didn't I think of this before so I am really excited to do it some more in like later builds as well so we are getting towards the end here and just putting in some of the lights and I think just finalizing some of the decor. So I'm going to leave you guys here for the screenshots and I hope you have enjoyed this build. Bye guys.